he was so, so ill. Terry Flans knew her son Mark was dying of cancer. He was in a coma. But she prayed he would win the fight of his life. And I thought the old Mark was coming back. But that just lasted one day, and then from then on, it was just downhill. And he kept getting worse. So two weeks ago, Mrs. Flans went to the St. Louis appearance of self-proclaimed psychic Sylvia Brown, silently pleading for help. I got to talk to her. And my number was the first one picked. And I was so excited. Unbelievable. I told her my son was dying, and I was wanting to know if he was going to live. And she matter-of-factly said, yes, he's going to live. My son is in the hospital, fighting for his life. And we know is there any way that the people will save him? Yeah, they will save him. <laughs> Brown told her that Mark would get a miraculous treatment and would be better by the end of the month, that Flans should not bring him home for hospice care, but leave him in the hospital. <laughs> No, keep it there for a while. I wanted to believe her. Yeah, I believed her. I don't give a damn what the doctors say, Brown told Flans. Your son will survive. He starts regaining his strength even at the end of this month. They're not going to give him that long. They're only giving him a kind of a damn. Two days later, Mark was dead. Mark didn't want to die in the hospital. He wanted to go home. Sylvia Brown told us that he was going to live to the end of the month and he'd get better. My daughter-in-law wanted to take him home with hospice. But she was so, so negative because she thought she was doing the wrong thing because of what Sylvia Brown said. Her ticket to the Sylvia Brown show cost $45. It was a gift from her daughter-in-law. How many people use their money that they couldn't afford to buy tickets to go see this woman who's telling them that their children are going to live and they don't. Brown's failed predictions have become national news. She told Sean Hornbeck's parents that he was dead. Is he still with us? No. But years later, he was found alive. 15-year-old Sean Hornbeck. During our recent visit to Brown's headquarters in California, business manager Linda Rossi told us that anyone disappointed with Brown's readings will get their money back. We do refunds. Really? Really. I've got the accounting to prove it. We do refunds. Rossi didn't respond to my questions about Brown's comments to Terry Flans or if Brown would refund the admission for Flans's family. What would you want to say to Sylvia Brown today? Wow. I'd say, well, you goofed. And it wasn't fair for what you told me because it wasn't true. And I'm angry and I'm upset with you. But I forgive you because you're only a human and you're not able to predict the future. That's what I tell her. During the last few weeks, we tried repeatedly to interview Sylvia Brown, but she did not respond to our requests. For much more on Brown and her predictions, go to our website, kmov.com. Craig Cheatham, News 4.